Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. If you're new to Microsoft Wide, you'll need to learn the basics of typing, editing, and organizing text. Basic tasks include the ability to add, delete, and move text in your document, as well as how to cut, copy, and paste. So let's look at how to use the insertion points. Now, when you open a new black document, the insertion point will appear in the top left corner of the page over here. And if you want, you can begin typing from this location. So I had copied some text earlier, I'll just paste it and we'll work with this text. Now, let's look at several ways of using the insertion point. One, you can use it to add spaces between words. So I can add space in between these two words by placing my insertion point there and then clicking on the space bar just like that and I've added space in between those two words. I can also create new paragraph lines by clicking on enter and by doing so I've added a new paragraph line. You can also manually place your insertion point wherever you want so I can place it here, here, here and do the edit or make the corrections that I want to make using my mouse. I can also use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move the cursor point or the insertion point either down, up, right, or left. So this is by using the arrow keys. Now let's look at selecting text. Before you can move or format text, you need to select it. And to do this, click and drag your mouse over the text and then release the mouse, just like so. And when you do so, a hover toolbar will appear with command shortcuts. So again, click and drag over the text you want to select, and then a command, a hover toolbar with commands will appear. So that's how you select. And you, if you want to select everything in your document, no matter how long it is, just go under Home tab, then click on Select, then choose Select All, and all the text in your document will be selected just like that. You can also click on Control A as a keyboard shortcut and it will also select all the text in your document. So let's look at deleting text. Now there are several ways to delete or remove text. To delete text to the left of the insertion point, press the spacebar key on your keyboard. So let's put our insertion point here. If you want to delete to the left of it, just click on the spacebar and it will do that. Now, if I want to delete to the right of my insertion point, just click delete key on your keyboard and I'm deleting to the right of the insertion point. You can also select the text that you want to delete. So I can select that and then click delete. And I'll have deleted that text. And also, if you select the text and then start typing, the selected text will automatically be deleted and replaced with the new text. Now, let's look at copying and moving text. To copy a text, to copy and paste text, now select the text that you want to copy. So I'll select computer. Then go to the copy command under home tab and click on it. Then go to wherever you want to paste it. Then click on the paste command. And that word will be pasted just like that. Now, alternatively, you can use the shortcut commands. You can use, let's do it with software. So let's say I want to... copy and paste software, I can use the keyboard shortcuts Control C for copy, then Control V to paste. And that's how you copy and paste words or text in Word. Now there's also cutting and pasting. Now to cut and paste, select the word that you want to cut. So I'll select uh, results. Then go to this code cut command under home tab, click on it, and go to wherever you want to paste that text, and then click on the paste command. And as you can see, I've cut it from this sentence and I've pasted it over here. Now that's how you cut and paste in Word. Now, the 
other thing that you'll need to know is how to drag and drop text inward. So select what you want to move. Uh, I'll select hardware and software or just, yeah, just hardware and software. Then drag it using my mouse and place it wherever I want to. So I'll drop it over there. And as you can see, I've dragged it from over here and dropped it over here. So that's how you simply drag and drop in Microsoft Word. Then we have the undo and redo. So let's say you're working on a document and you accidentally delete some text or you accidentally do an action that you want to undo. Like I just drag these two words over here and it doesn't look right. So I want to undo that action. I can come to the undo command in the quick access toolbar and then click on it. So if I click on the undo, it will undo the action that I just did. So hardware and software back where they were. But if I want to redo that action again, I'll just click on the redo icon and then it will redo itself. Then hardware and software will be cut and pasted to, a head, to what I had done earlier. I have a shortcut. You can use the control Z and control Y for the same command. So if I want to undo, I'll just click on control Z and that action is undone. If I want to redo that action, I'll just click control Y. And that action is redone. So that's how you undo and redo in Word. And then lastly, let's look at inserting symbols. So if you need to insert an unusual character uh, that's not on your keyboard, such as a copyright or a trademark symbol, you can usually find them with a symbol command. Now to insert symbol, to insert a symbol in Word, place the insertion point where you want the symbol to appear. So let's say I place mine over here. Then click the insert tab, go to symbol and click the drop down arrow, then choose from here. But if you don't see the, uh, the symbol that you want to use, you can click on more symbols and such. But for me, I'll use the copyright symbol over here and then click on it. And as you can see, it will insert itself in your document. So that's how you insert a symbol in wide.